wonder what's the best way to build a mechanism that is able to get people to be aware of you, to be attracted to what you're saying, and also then to view you as an authority. In the next series of videos, we are going to address the three A's of building your business. Hi, this is Melvin here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the first A of the 3A framework that we use to build our business. So the three A's are very quickly, just a quick recap. The three A's are basically awareness. The second A is attraction. And the third A is authority. So let's look at the three A's in the sequence. The first A basically is awareness. So the point here we want to make is that people are already on their journey to find a solution to their problem. So your customers, your prospects, they are already on the journey to look for a solution to their problem. Now, some may turn to their friends, some may turn to, turn to their network, and some may turn to the internet, for example. So, like for instance, uh, back then, when I needed someone to fix my washing machine, one of the first places that I go to was YouTube because I wanted to see, you know, is there a quick and easy way to kind of fix a jammed washing machine door, right? Because I didn't want to have to spend money and also have to wait for someone to come and fix it. I want to see if I'm able to do it myself. And so the first place I I went to was YouTube. Now after I have uh, exhausted, I mean after I've watched the videos and I, I was still not able to um, you know, open the jam washing machine door, the next place I, I turned to was the internet, right? And so I type in washing machine repairs. And there I got a series of, I got a list of um, search results and uh, some with phone numbers and some with email addresses for example and from there I kind of then look for which one uh, kind of give me the best deal and which one you know has the best response rate i.e. you know how fast they can they come to fix my washing machine because at the point in time I've got clothes that were stuck in the washing machine and it was wet and if I don't get it out, uh, my clothes are going to be, <clears throat> you know, soiled and it's going to be damaged. So I needed to get the, I needed to get the washing machine door open as soon as I can. And so when I turn to the internet, uh, this was the next few things that I see. So the question here is that, um, you know, your prospects or the people whom you're trying to target are already on, that, on this journey to look for a solution. Now the question is, how do you put yourself in front of them so that they are aware of you? So when you think about that, essentially there could be, if you're looking at the web or if you're looking at digital business, essentially there are the two S. And the two S is basically search and social. So for example, you want to ask yourself, do you have a social media presence? And do you have a, a following of people who follow you and people who, whom you engage with, for example? Because uh, there could be people with a lot of followers, but um, they're not engaging their followers or people with a lot of followers but many of those followers are actually not active users of the social media for example so you want to see whether you have a social media presence and also you know do you have a following and also do you have a group of people that you are able to engage with on a you know continuous continuously basis and of course that is the first S. The other S is basically search. So remember I mentioned earlier that uh, you know I needed to look for a solution to my problem which was a jammed washing machine door. 
I turn to the internet, I turn to Google, I turn to search to look for a solution. And so I type in the particular keyword, washing machine repair. And that gave me the list of results that I could turn to to kind of solve my problem. Um, of course, during the time when I put in the search, um, Google also throws out a number of videos which I have watched, like I mentioned, which I've watched and, uh, you know, after trying what the videos say I could do, uh, I realized that, you know, I can't, I can't do it myself and hence I needed professional help. And so that was, uh, that was search. So when it comes to search, the question is, you know, do you have a website? And in your website, do you have content that it's able to drive people to that website? So for example, if your niche, for example, in my case, my niche is looking at helping solopreneurs design a business that sets them free. So the question is, do I have a website with content whereby when people search, for example, you know, uh, certain keywords, will they be directed or will the search result comes out and one of the first few is my website. So those are the two key ways that you could do to kind of get yourself in front of your prospective customers. Of course, there are other ways, like for example, you could do networking, you could have advertisements, you could have editorial pieces that appears in some other publication, for example. Yeah, uh, those are considered old school, but by no means are those less effective. So for example, if I'm an accountant, and I'm looking for more work. I'm a freelance accountant. I'm looking for more work. You know, uh, putting in an editorial piece, uh, giving my two cents worth about how new entrepreneurs can take note of when uh, doing their accounts. That could jolly well be a and having it in a publication that is targeted at new entrepreneurs that could jolly well be a good way of putting myself in front of my prospective audience so this is uh, and with this we come to the end of the first a which is awareness so the question here is how are you creating awareness so that your prospective customers are aware of you. Remember, they are already on the journey. The question is, are you going to be part of that journey or not? All right. So this is Melvin Tan. And my question to you is, does the money stop the moment you start working? Join me and design a business that sets you free. Thank you. Bye-bye.